Hi guys, today I'm going to provide a demo of the Schwimmin MMF6 multi-output filter. This is a, a multi-mode 12 decibel per octave filter module. And it's, it's a pretty interesting module. Uh, let me walk through some of the features and, and capabilities of, of this module for you. But before I do that, let me show you how it's connected to the rest of my modular system. So right now I've got two input signals coming into the module, which is, you can see in these blue cables. The first input is an audio one signal and the second is an audio two signal. So you can send in two audio signals into this module and you can set the level or set the mix for each audio signal. Here's an audio one mix knob and an audio two mix knob. So pretty nice that there's a, a mixer on board. You can send two signals into it. And then I am taking the output, which is coming from this low pass filter output, and I am sending that into uh, my Schwimmin S1 MK2 semi-modular. And, and that's where um, I'm using the envelopes and the amp from that module. The, the incoming signals are being generated by two oscillators off of that same S1 MK2 semi-modular. So one of the oscillator signals is a saw wave. The other oscillator signal is a square wave. So that's kind of the setup of the, the, the module. Um, in terms of the, the capabilities of the module, it's got, uh, you can, can, of course, adjust the cutoff frequency in the upper left-hand knob here. And then right next to it, you can modify the resonance. And, of course, it goes all the way up into that self-oscillation if you, if you turn the knob all the way to the right. So the cutoff frequency, the resonance. There's also two cutoff inputs as well, cutoff one and cutoff two uh, for the cutoff frequency. And there are separate knobs to basically, you know, attenuate that level for each one of those cutoff signals. And uh, I'll play with that in a little bit so you can, you can see what that looks like. But it, it's, it's nice that you can send in two different signals to modulate that cutoff frequency. There's also a, a, a Q-peak or resonance input as well you can modulate and a corresponding Q-peak control voltage knob as well to control the level of that input control voltage. And then there's something that's kind of interesting. That you, I don't think you see much on, on uh, filters like this, filter modules. There's a symmetry control. And the symmetry control is when, it's, when the knob is straight up, it's at zero. And if you turn it to the left, it goes negative. And if you turn it to the right, it goes positive. And my understanding is that what the symmetry control does is it allows you to set different cutoff frequencies for the positive and negative portions of a signal. And so, in effect, uh, it, it really adds, adds almost somewhat of like a feedback loop into the, uh, the, the, the cutoff and the resonance. And what that can often do is, is basically add a little bit of a bite to the sound uh, that, uh, that, 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 to, that the filter generates. So there's also a symmetry input, and then there's a corresponding symmetry control voltage level input here as well. There's six outputs from the module, which is really interesting, uh, in that you can use all six outputs simultaneously. And so... Um, the three outputs on the left-hand side are 
clean outputs and there's a low pass filter, band pass filter, and a high pass filter. And then the three outputs on the right are labeled as the the saturated outputs. And there, there's the same low pass filter, band pass filter, and high pass filter. There's also a switch here that allows you to to set the type of saturation. There's basically two types. There's a soft saturation, which the, if you push the switch up, it's a soft saturation. Push it, push it down, and then it's a hard saturation. So that allows you to create a sort of a more dirty, distorted type of filter output. And, and I'll let you take a listen to that here uh, shortly. Uh, so, and again, you can use all these outputs simultaneously. So if you wanted to, you could really, um, you could mix a low pass filter, a clean low pass filter output with a hard saturated low pass filter output or band pass filter output to, to create some interesting sounds. So um, you heard the low pass filter output. Uh, let me plug back into that and we'll turn that up so you can hear that again. And let me switch to the the saturated output so you can hear the difference. You can definitely tell that it's it's a uh, much more saturated, a uh, little more distorted, harsher type of filter output. Um, and I'll move that output so you can hear the bandpass filter. I'll start with the clean one. I'll do the clean high pass filter, and then I'll do the the saturated bandpass and saturated high pass filters for you. So here's the, the clean bandpass filter. Clean high pass filter. And then the saturated bandpass and saturated high pass. So you can tell that there's really uh, pretty distinctive differences between those clean outputs and the saturated outputs on the right. Let me um, connect. Let me connect an LFO to one of the cutoffs, just so you can kind of uh, see some like some movement in that uh, or hear some movement in that cutoff frequency. Then finally to the symmetry. So as you can see, um, you can you can create some pretty interesting timbers using the MMF six module. 
it's actually a, a pretty easy and straightforward module to use. I, and I think it's very flexible because of the, the multiple outputs. And if, and if you're really looking to add a, a, a sort of harder, more distorted filter tone into your modular setup, the MF, MMF6 is, is probably a good filter module uh, to take a look at. And of course, you know, you can't go wrong with any of the streaming filters. Um, they all sound uh, just absolutely phenomenal. And they have, um, you know, that, that precision that, that uh, I, I just absolutely love. So check it out when you get a chance. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And thanks for watching.